Hello and welcome back. So welcome back to the place where we put your well-being first. And of course, today we're going to look at slowing down when life gets a little bit crazy. So yes, those very useful one, two, three minutes of self-care where you're slowing down, allowing yourself to recharge. So it's like that battery boost that you're going to give yourself when life is just hectic, crazy, and you're feeling pushed to your limit. It gives you the chance to fuel up and get on with the rest of the day or the week. So what is it? Well, self-care is that time to to take care of your physical and mental well-being. It's basically your chance to do something good for you, the most important person in your world. But like I said, it's that chance for you to boost your body, boost your mind, so you've got more to give in everything else that you do. So you perform better and you think more clearly, more focused, and of course, everything else improves. So your relationships, your work, and things like that. And of course, when we push for time, it can be hard to tell ourselves to slow down. Hence why these are one to three minutes long. So you can do them super quick when you haven't got that 30, 60, or even longer to invest. Okay, so like I said, there's 10 of them, so I better get going. So number one is stretching. Now, stretching is our way of easing tension and improving flexibility, but it also helps with blood flow. And of course, when we're feeling a little clogged up, it can help us loosen up and release tensions in the body. It improves posture and of course, like I said, that stress relief. Now, I am going to do a separate video on this about caring for your posture and your mental well-being. So I'll do something directly related to this. But even if you start the day with a little stretch or even if you're getting up from your desk and taking 30 seconds, one minute to move the body and just ease it out that is going to give you that boost that you need. But if that's not for you, number two. So number two is deep breathing. Now, I'm not saying just taking a breath. <sighs> okay, nice, right? I mean, taking a deep breath, inhaling, feel those lungs, feel your stomach, feel everything, and then exhale, releasing completely, okay? So even if you take a small as five breaths, so that's where you feel the body and exhale, releasing any tension and relaxing. Not only does it calm the mind, so it's a physical benefit to it, but it's also the mental of giving you the chance to focus and slow down. So whether you find a comfortable, quiet space, or whether you're just running off to the toilet and you're just diving back into a meeting and just take a moment to slow down, it can actually help you calm nerves and anxiety as well. So number three kind of leads on because it's yoga. Now, yoga has many shapes, many forms, and many different things, okay? So many different poses can be done in a few minutes or a few moments. So I have sh shared a few shorts on this one, but another one of my favorites to do here is the recline butterfly. So this is where you're lying on your back, soles of the feet together, knees out, and of course, just in sort of a meditative position. This allows the hips and any emotions that in our hips to release, opens our body, but also we take that moment of stillness. So when we're running around, being still can be really hard, but we can allow the thoughts, our intuition to speak, okay? So actually, even just taking 60 seconds, set yourself a timer if you're feeling a bit worried, and of course, allow your body to relax, okay? Now, number four is mindful walking. Now, I've added this one in here because walking is so good for us because we're moving the body, but being mindful when we're doing it is we're being fully present. So you could do like I did on lunch, just walk up the road and back. You could walk around the block. You could do anything, okay? Like I say, it can be as little as three minutes. Okay, you don't have to go for this hour's walk or get all these steps in. You could just do this, maybe just run up and down the stairs at work, okay? Or walk in the corridor. Just get yourself moving, but just be present in that. Don't think about what else is waiting for you back at your desk. Allow yourself just to be like, okay, and I'm walking, feet on the floor. Just become aware of your body in that space. Allow that sense of relaxation and calmness to fill you, okay? Now, number five, you can do really any point of the day. Now, this can be as little as one minute, two minutes, three minutes, or you could spend a bit longer and invest a little bit more time. And that's journaling. So personally, I do this first thing in the morning, so I set my intentions for the day. I express my gratitude. So I do gratitude for personal, so like my space, things like my flat, my car, these sorts of things. For others, so the amazing people that join me in my life. 
also for my career. So what's going well, my clients, my business, you know, my new part-time job, these sorts of things, but also then for myself. Okay, the last thing I always do is be grateful for myself because you are the most important person in your world and the hardest thing we can do is be grateful for ourselves. So big one for me recently is my health, particularly as my nose has been recovering. But again, it's that chance to appreciate this moment because when we appreciate this moment, not only do you boost your happiness, so yes, it's a genuine boost of your happiness from now and it grows, but also do we attract more of the things we want? I know, right? So it's this never ending cycle. Okay, so it is a huge boost for your well being and it's super easy to do. And if you wanted to do it, you can do it anywhere. Okay, so number seven, get through these as quickly as I can for you guys. Okay, and that leads on nicely to a nice little meditation. So number seven is that meditation. Now, I said that leads on nicely because you could do a gratitude meditation, okay? You could sit still and just be completely present and be completely grateful. So I do have some gratitude meditations on my channel. I will create a short for this as well, so you have a 60-second one. But again, at the moment, they're only a bit longer. Okay, so sorry about that one. That one will come for you. But meditation is a great way to reduce stress and improve mental clarity. So our focus, our concentration, our ability to communicate, which also impacts on our confidence and how we feel about ourselves and how we show up. Okay, so actually by slowing down and giving our minds a chance to breathe, we actually give it a chance to run. Okay, so think of it like that, all right? Now, number eight is staying with a mindfulness habit, okay? But it probably you can call this more savoring, okay? And it's mindfulness eating. So being fully present in something you are eating, or maybe you'd rather drink it, okay? Now with that, we wanna engage everything. So all of our senses, our smell, our sight, our taste, the texture, okay? So when you then think about it, you actually, you know every little part of whatever it is maybe it's an apple maybe it's your coffee maybe it's your lunch but often we get too busy in our phones being connected even talking to others that we forget to slow down and actually when you do you can enjoy that food or drink a little bit more okay now number nine is one i don't mention often but it's actually something that's very big in my life and that's about aromatherapy and essential oils now Things like lavender is obviously big when it comes down to deterring moths. So if you have had moths in your wardrobe or things like that. But also lavender and peppermint can be great relaxers. So the smell can help you relax and have a great night's sleep. But I find with lavender, peppermint and citrus smells, it also gets rid of little buggies as well. They don't tend to like the smell. So it actually has a great positive and powerful effect on mind and body. It boosts your sleep, but it also gets rid of those little buggies too. So for me, that is a complete win. So whether you choose a scented candle or you use an essential oil, I have a one that you put a candle underneath. I just put a few drops in it and I just leave it, okay? So I don't even light the candle underneath most of the time because that gentle smell is absolutely beautiful, okay? Now, number 10 is the last one in this list. So again, let me know if any of these resonate with you. And number 10, is a quick mindfulness activity. Now, when we say about mindfulness, it's about being present, okay? So this could be doing a puzzle. So there are many puzzles out there that, that have a daily sort of competition activity or something like that. It could be doing a Wordle, okay? I know that's come out, that's a daily thing, okay? It could be something like getting a Sudoku out, the daily crossword in the paper, okay? Whatever it is, it's about being present in that and forgetting about everything else, okay? So that's why I say some of these things where they have a small daily action, like the Wordle, which is like five, six guesses or whatever it is, then of course it allows you to switch off from everything else, but also do something that you enjoy that's actually good for you. So hopefully you've enjoyed those 10 and you found one that maybe think, hmm, I'd like to give that a go. If you have, then do let me know if there's something you already do then of course, let me know too. And of course, there are those extra little videos that are gonna follow on. So do keep your eyes out for them. So if you found this useful, you know what to do. That like, that subscribe, and of course, keep watching for those extra videos. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in that next video. So have a great and wonderful day.